Greetings, my fellow courtiers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Crusader Kings 3 Rise of the Die, Episode 14 Alasa. Oh, there we go. Raid for captives. Uh, yep. Now, it's going to take me a little bit longer to rally my troops because they were just recently rallied, but uh, that's okay. I know Kamdo doesn't really have any allies. I think it was just because I had prisoners in my prison from the last war that I needed to kill off for me to open up the option for a new war. We're going to make a religion on the bones of our enemies. And it's going to be a more pacifist religion. Another thing that I'm going to finally do is uh, create a Onager um, men-at-arms regiment so that I can raid forts that are difficult. Hey, full dirt. Thank you for the resub. Welcome. Yeah, I need to I need to kill off these people so that I can be less bloodthirsty. Is exactly true. I know it makes no no sense, but it's just the way it is. All right. So now with those onagers, uh, I can raid this fort successfully. So here, as you can see, daily progress is point one point four, and the siege weapons are uh, a huge contributor to that daily progress. Kill more people to become less bloodthirsty? I know. I just need to be fulfilled. Like a vampire. I need to be sustained through the oppression of others. And then once they're fully oppressed, uh, we will happily live in peace. Oh. You lost against... You. So Naku is really on the downfall. Um... Their territories are getting absorbed into O pretty quickly. I think they had this area or something. So O is, is growing in power and Naku is shrinking quickly. Just making a note of that. Out aloud. Do I have any more grandkids? New grandkids. If Kano doesn't get grandkids soon, I don't think he ever will. She's 27. You can actually have kids until you're like 40 in this game, which is honestly not that realistic for the year 900, but whatever. Let it slide. Back then, I think like 35 would probably be like, nope, you're going to die in childbirth. Hey, the polling software came back. It's back online. Now I can poll you like normal. See? It's back. Inspiration to change in directions. Um. Yeah, you know what? I am going to pay her more because the likelihood of whatever she brings back is going to be higher quality. So I agree. I don't know if it's still in Tibet. Oh, she's going to Burma. Okay. Hey, and the good news is I just unlocked Strategist. The end of the Strategist tree. Uh, so I'm going to change my focus type to Authority for Control Gain instead of Marshal because Strategist gives me plus three Marshal, so I don't really need the Marshal as much anymore. Because my marshal's really, really, really high. Uh, so now new territories gain control quicker from the control gain focus. So if I take a look here, you can see, um, you know, it's a higher gain. Well, I, you have nothing to compare it against, but it's a higher gain than it was before. Oh, I captured some peoples. Oh, I captured their leader. I'm killing their leader uh, to my gods. Nice. Nope, oh, there goes another one. All right, let's end the war. 
Disband my armies. Go to my prison. One, two, three, four. Oh man, this is a lot of people. No, not execute all. I want to execute the ones I selected. Do I have to do this one at a time? Fine. Just to make sure that I don't accidentally execute my own daughter. Because I'm not super familiar with the controls. Okay. And somehow that makes me a more pious person. Wait, how did you survive? I must have released her as uh, the the truce. I'm assuming. All right, looking for other raid targets. You might be a bit too hard to do because you have two alliances that protect you. You are soft. I feel bad because, you know, you're just ripe for the plucking. I am very glad that I am not my own neighbor, is all I'm going to say. I am the opposite of, like, uh, Mr. Rogers. For future reference, mass order is only the ones that I have selected. Yeah, the tooltip was not clear, because it was like, execute all your prisoners. Should have been like, execute all the ones that you have selected, or some variation that makes it clear that you're not just going to kill everyone. But they didn't make that clear. And I didn't want to accidentally murder my daughter. Prison is fine. It, but Sora side, not so much. Whatever daughter side. I don't know the term for it. Sorrow side would be sister. Where are you going? I know I defeated you, but you don't need to, like, deport yourself. Whatever. Bye. Uh, bandits are on the road. So... 0% chance that you will evade them. A 31% chance that you will proceed. And a 68% that you will be wounded. No guts, no glory. 60% um, chance that... A uh, 17 that... Yeah, no guts, no glory. You're wounded, but it will be slightly higher quality. See? You're learning something. On my dime, unfortunately, but you're learning something. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to disband this army, because it's not needed. Uh, and keep the other one raiding. And she got something. She gained the trait Adventurer, and what'd you bring back? A goblet of master mastership quality. It's a pedestal item, unfortunately. So, let me read that. It is <clears throat> powerful vassals... Tax contribution goes up 4%, and my court becomes plus 2 to grandeur. <sighs> that's not the trinket I wanted. I wanted something I could wear, but that's pretty good. Not going to complain. That's pretty good. Is she still in my court? What was her name? You. It was you, right? Yeah. You're still in my court. Um, can I give you a position? There. Convert to my religion first. There we go. Now you like me a whole lot more, because we are of the same religion. It's weird how that works. And then... Your name is Ogyan. Uh, you could become the Antiquarian, but I don't think you want to be. You could be an artificer, but again, I don't think you want to be. But I'm going to make you an artificer anyway. Or you're not good at it, but 
I'm going to make you an artificer. So an artificer has a chance to become inspired for a, yet another artifact. So because she's an adventurer um, and she healed from all of her adventures, uh, I'm going to hire her as a potential to be uh, employed again for another artifact. Toil and hard work. My granddaughter, Amelia, has finally impressed me, uh, impressed with one of the household champions for a very long time. After finally meeting him in person, um, she has been repeating the warrior's words to herself. Work hard and you can master anything. Yeah. Stay diligent. That works for me. I have no idea who you're impressed by, but yep, yeah, that works. Okay, siege is one. And I have prisoners. I captured the spouse of the ruler. Ouch. Bye. <laughs> I am just the best neighbor ever. How much to buy a market? Uh, so I've only really been investing in um, my capital. And... I'm right now I'm making a grand hall, so I can't build anything. But I don't have the technology to do the market. Oh, wait, no, I captured someone else. Oh, I captured the neighborhood ruler too? Oh, look at you. Yes, 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 yes. No, uh, Shona, it just made me kill my daughter. So, that didn't work, as you said. <laughs> it worked how I thought it did. So now I'm a Kinslayer. Well, at least they're not in my prison anymore. So there it is. Was sacrificed to my gods. Um, my hook to Lakshman, I'm not going to use. But some populist faction just disbanded. Sanaku, uh, you've been getting the... Oh, God, you have one military. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, I'm going to be raiding you for captives. Good luck to you, sir. I have a very low incarceration rate, exactly. It's something that I could pride myself on. So for me to get captives, I have actually have to kill another army to nudge them out of the way so I can capture captives, which I love. So time to kick them out. Oh, he has allies join him. That's cute. So now I'm not against one person, I'm against 90. This is a conquest. This is for our religion. This is um an inquisition, if you will. No one expects the Die Inquisition. Oh no, my champion was wounded. Um, he wants something for me. And I'm gonna gift him gold. Because I don't want to give him territory. Wait, who are you? Wow! You hate me because I murdered your mommy. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm going to use my hook to get an alliance with her, though. Anyway, I don't care that she, uh, she hates me. Oh, I, you know what? I can't, uh... Apparently I can't raid these places for, for sacrifices. Because they're already occupied territory. Well, that's too bad. I hope I get something fun out of their, uh, their last city that they have. 
a hook for my champion. Oh, this hook was given to me by um, by my wife. There's nothing I even want to do with this hook. Sometimes if you're like a steward, you can have people pay for their own hooks. Uh, and that way you can get money out of hooks. But I'm not, I don't have stewardship. Oh, I am sieging this one. So I guess I just couldn't siege here. Because it's occupied by my son, Queerzilla. Okay, that makes sense. Queerzilla, I guess, is going to war with him for some reason. And he's probably winning if I know my son. Uh, Nope, that's not that war. How many wars are you in? Dang. Um, Defending against... Where's the Queerzilla one? I don't even know. Quirazilla, what war are you in? You are attacking O for the claim. Oh, he's no, he's attacking you for Sog. And you're kicking his butt. I like it. Good job. So you're trying to annex this county, Damsung, from O. And you're winning. Oh, well, there we go. That one is done. That was quick. Um, you know what? I'm going to continue. I want Lari here just to, you know, grind it in a little that um, I have more captives. Maximize the captives. The next thing that I just thought of is I could try to go for a war for Lhasa because um, that is one of our holy sites and that would be good for our piety. And that would be against O, because O is currently at a war with my son, and they're losing every war that they're currently in, so maybe I can get in on that. And I just got more prisoners. So, end this war. Get on my prison, and summarily execute all. Don't care who you are. High Chiefess. Oh, someone important. Dead. I think I'm the baddie now. Are we the baddies? Mm, yeah, probably. Uh, to reform my religion. Oh man, it's still so expensive. Uh, 4,400. That's what we're working towards. And we would want to... Um, we'd have to ch I'm missing about a thousand, but we'd have to change it in some way. There's already an organized variant of our faith. What? Then have it be a totally novel faith. I'm not really sure how to do that, though. Other faiths. So there's... Oh, I see. Well, I'm still going to be piously questing. So the thing I had in mind is Lhasa here is a county that is um, precious. It's a holy site. And O here is in no position to say no at the moment. Because he's been getting his butt kicked by everybody. So I think it's a perfect time to get the county of Lhasa from him. Because he can't defend himself. So why not? So let's rally here. And rally hard. Tibetan Crusades, if you will. Alright, so for me to get to Lhasa, I have to go through some other territories. And I don't want to suffer attrition, so I'm going to capture these territories on my way down. He is getting allies to join him, but it doesn't um, concern me because I still outnumber him. I checked. So, current priority is Crusade for Lhasa. Oh, we have crop rotation. Let's work on 
Because I am the cultural head. So we get this in 33 years, 27, 60, 59, 60. Uh, let's go with Banu. Get the quickest one. It's not the one I necessarily want, but quick is good. Well, we already won that. Where's your armies, dude? You called them... Oh! Wow, you called some big allies. Unfortunately, they're really far away and they're not going to be able to help you at all. I doubt it. You called the Mongols. Wow, that is a hell... How do you even say his name? Kagan Kozel Zergalulu of the Kyrgyz. Something. I know every part of that name I botched. But okay. Yeah, I guess you're very important. So again, if we look at the holy sites, loss is a holy site. Uh, another holy site would be Purong. So maybe if we can stomach a war with Guje, we can try to get Purong from them. Because uh, I think that would allow us to form our own religion. Maybe. I think that's a, how that worked. Mm. My only ally just died. Died in battle. Prop who who killed you? August eighteenth. Um you died to not okay. I was wondering if it was my son that killed him. It wasn't. It was someone else. He he probably died to this army, I'm guessing. It's kinda hard to tell. Game is Oh, and my Seneschal just died too. But she died of old age. She was, uh, 68. There goes my court physician. My Bunshin Po does not make for a very good court physician. But, uh, I'm gonna appoint him anyway, because he's the best. Court tutor, uh, you. I forgot that I needed to court tutor. And then Seneschal... You. I'm not really looking, and just whoever's the most um, qualified gets the job. Alright, so now I am going to besiege Lhasa. Uh, capturing Lhasa will help a lot with the war score, because it's my war target. And then I'll go after their... their... Um, their capital even though it looks like it's already seized by someone else. So I'm not going to get money for it, but, you know, whatever. Stalwart leader. So getting stalwart leader down to the glunt tree is going to give me a lot of uh, combat prowess. So now my combat prowess is 16, which is actually pretty good. The fine sword plus stalwart leader plus my base of eight. It's not bad. Do I have grandkids that I can tutor? Let's see. I'm already guardianing them. Ronald, what about you? Offer guardianship. Do I already have two two wards? Oh, I guess I already have two. I have Margo and Amelia. Margo hates me, but why do you hate me so much? Eh, just for the offensive war, because you're my um vassal. Got it. Kano really doesn't like kids. You know, he might not be straight. I kind of didn't think about that. He's 25. Wow, he looks way bad for a 25-year-old. And his wife is 30. He's a drunkard, reclusive drunkard. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to kick kids out of him. Just, just not. Oh, she is pregnant. Is she? Yeah, she is pregnant. Okay. Pregnant with children for four months. So, he his firstborn is coming. 
The Grand Halls of Zadoi just finished. So let's go back there and I'll upgrade the sparring ground. Yeah, let me give me give me the palisades. Little defensive bonus. So that um the gathering hall gives me more prestige for whoever's holding it and also more control gain and levies. So it's going to be really good. A good uh, seat of power for future heirs. Oh, Zidoi, or their capital still too deep. So let's go there instead. I don't want to have any attrition loss. You... Um, I can kill for piety. So now I control Lhasa. We're at 60% war score. Going against the capital now. And this war is going our way. An opportunity to sway Godin. Uh... Yeah, let's go big. Yes, it worked. All right, so plus 50 with him. He also, I also gain prestige, and I am going to change targets here now that I'm in the positive with him. Uh, for whatever reason, my son doesn't like me as much anymore, so I'm going to work on him. Probably because of all the offensive wars that I keep drawing them into, because I've made them my vassals and then I force them into war. But it's, it's for the best. We're getting our holy site, so it's meaningful. They want white piece. I'm refusing. Loss or bust. Now there is a little army way, way, way up north. But I don't think they're going to be effective. I killed his sister for killing his other sister. It was coming. Uh, yet another counselor died of old age. Yeah, it's an old court. So, bye-bye, Spymaster. In with... Maybe not the Spymaster that hates me. Godin, guess what? You are going to become my marshal, Mr. Godin. Are you good at spying? <laughs> spying a one. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to fire you. Sorry. And then, new Spymaster. Of... Kano, my son. That'll work. Oh. Except for that moved him out of the Chancellor role. <sighs> Quirzilla, you can be Chancellor even though you're not very good at it. That will make you way happier. Because you're a powerful vassal and you wanted to count the point position. Hey, look at this! <laughs> Popo wants to make some metal for me. Wants to forge regalia. Which is kind of unfortunate because I already have regalia, but I'll allow it. So, if you have two regalia, what you can do is you can take the old regalia, which is this thing. And if the new one's better, I can, can um, reforge this into a pedestal object. Instead of repair. So I can reforge at the cost of two. For it to become. Um, a cord object pedestal. Which would be here instead. So having two realia is not a problem. Because one of them can be repurposed. Or I can gift it to someone for a relationship. Which is a little weird. Because it's the. You know something I. Well yeah. I mean you can always do that. Just. It's an object that I. I had paid for myself, so. Um, and also, let's hire an antiquarian now that I'm getting all these objects. I don't want them to decay, so. My artificer is also going to be my antiquarian. They belong in a museum. Apparently, it's an achievement to have an artificer and antiquarian uh, in the same role. Didn't know that. All right, this war will be up in just a second. There it is. I captured...
the leader. I wonder if it's, uh... Huh! Yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. I might have made some money ransoming him, but, uh... I'm trying to make my own religion here, so... There's a blood debt to be paid. Which also means that I have to keep raiding, because, uh... I killed my leverage to end the war. So who is the leader now? <laughs> it's a five-year-old. Sorry, dude. Definitely just... Oh, and you're a child of a concubine. So you're not even a... Uh, your lineage is contested. Ouch. Just threw that realm into disarray. Amelia can be arrogant, compassionate, or callous. I'm going to put you... Compassionate is a little tricky because compassionate means that um, you're not going to want a war. So, you know what? Stay arrogant. I'll take it. I don't want to have you have compassion. Not not until our um, our new kingdom is fully secured will I consider that to be a trade option. So, let's see. The inspiration for Popo for Regalia? I would like for a dynasty modifier. That would be really nice. More glory to the dynasty. A high prestige object would be great. Do it, Rong. Do it. Rong wants out of my... Uh... He wants to revolt. And I welcome him to. Because then I can beat him up and imprison him for, uh, for, for sedition. Oh, whatever. Faction already dissolved. Maybe it's a different one. Margo, yeah, be honest. All right, there we go. I have now won. Got Lhasa. So I can disband. Patala I will keep for myself. This new territory. And then I'm going to tell my marshal to increase control. So the advantage here is it is a holy site. So I have a now, I because of it, <clears throat> I have a 20% uh, piety per month gain as a result of controlling it. The other thing that I was eyeballing is going to war with uh, Gouge or whatever their name is for the Porang County. And I might just jump straight to that because that's another holy site. So the Crusades continue. Because he didn't really have any allies. He didn't really have any troops. I think he's dealing with either a civil war or foreign raiders. So I might as well just jump on that. There's a bit of border gore. Um, but it is a remote holy site. I think it's fine. And Count Peldon, who hates my guts, wants to pay my artificer. Sure, alright. I'll take it, I don't care. So now I'm at war with Gouge and Bati. Additional taxes of 90. Good job, daughter. That is some good money. I am just swimming in cash. All right, I'm going to stop uh, gathering troops here so I can start marching because it was like two years until they came together. And then so I don't have uh, attrition. I'm not massacred by my own attrition. I'm going to attack from the outside in. Which, unfortunately for this army, means a whole lot of marching. Because they're coming all the way down here. Ah, my Bon Shinpo is becoming a better doctor. I like. And Quirzillo is getting swayed to my side. My heir. They might not understand these foreign wars, but they don't understand my ultimate goal of 
reforming our own religion, which would be very, very nice. Because being of an unreformed religion, if we take a look at like the realm, for instance, ooh, high tribal authority. Ding. If we take a look, um, unreformed, you see that minus 20? And tribal minus 20? If I could become feudal and reformed, I get a huge relationship bonus with my vassals. That's ultimately what I'm working towards. Uh-oh. My heartless vassal Peldon is up to something. Uh, yeah, let's investigate. Peldon was the one that just uh, paid my artificer money. Irrefutable proof that Peldon has some sort of... Oh, he is a bastard. So he is an adulterer and his he has a secret which is that uh he's a bastard i'll keep that hook in my pocket for now it's a nice one to have so because i'm tribal I can't build any of the feudal improvements at Lhasa because Lhasa is a feudal territory. So if we take a look here at governments, um, Lhasa is a feudal holding. It's a castle holding owned by tribe, which is a little awkward because I can't improve it as a result, but that's fine. There is a way in the decisions here to adopt feudal ways, um, which I can do once I have absolute tribal authority and when our faith is organized. And that's kind of what I'm working towards, is to organize our faith, our religion into a organized religion, and then I can adopt feudal ways, and then I'll be a feudal king, rather than a tribal. And her regalia was much nicer. Oh yeah, much nicer. Oh boy. So the old one, is 0.14 prestige and the new one is 0.16 a little higher uh i am more attractive while holding this the old one had a little bit of vassal per uh powerful vassal vassal on the council but since my council isn't made of all powerful vassals it's not a significant number and then uh, this also has a dynasty opinion people of my dynasty are liked more so this old one i am going to reforge into a pedestal item so if we go to the court here I can have my old regalia um, as a pedestal item, so it's still providing the same benefit. I just am not holding it. Yeah. So that's quite nice. Quite nice indeed. I have to make sure that my armies stay well supplied as we go deep into enemy territory for this is a long crusade, I think. But I have a lot of money to fund it. That's for sure. Is there better amenities I could pay for? No, I'm tribal. I can't go any higher. It's too bad because I have so much money right now. Oh, what? The leader of O was just given uh, a claim to Dangla. Thanks, my son, who apparently is very inept in your diplomacy. You're not supposed to give them claims. You're supposed to take the claims. If you still feel so bad about Kinslayer, yeah, it's okay. It, mistakes happen. I did read the tooltip. I should have known better. It did read that I would execute all my prisoners, and that's exactly what happened. I executed all of them, including tyrannically uh oh that's not good including tyrannically that dancer too because I didn't have any right to execute him so my mortal body uh, I am now ill I'm only 56 it's pretty young and I have reduced disease symptoms so I'm feeling pretty fine right now 
because my Bunchen Po, who is also the physician, managed to make me feel better. Uh, you know what I might do, though, is I might take myself off of Commander and hand it over to, oh god, not you, hand it over to one of my champions, this dead. And that way, I can hold court. Uh, the mayor wants to take someone as a concubine. Um, I don't have time for this. I don't care. We gain court grandeur for me not dealing with that. A frightful peasant strolls too close before guards and steps between us. Oof, he backs off with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your lordness, I'm come here from whatever that is. A matter of great import. Um, this is barely in English. So, I can have him go on. Popular opinion of me goes up, vassal opinion goes down. I can have Seba, my countess, my daughter, settle the dispute. She doesn't want to do it. She wouldn't like it. Um, I can make him my court jester, but it would cost me prestige I currently don't have. Or gain high flute. You know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let him talk. It stresses me out a little bit, but I can pay for a hunt. It's fine. Uh, two of my vessels are pushing one another and jostling to reach the run f throne first. Um, so they both, they either want to ban weapons in cities or allow weapons to be kept in cities. And, you know, I'm going to go with whatever Queerzilla wants. Because, yeah, I don't really care what uh, Chieftain Rong wants. So Queerzilla wants open carried weapons. So, okay, open it is. My business is done. Thank you for tuning in to Crusader Kings 3 Rise of the Die, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 8th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Adios.